Chelsea may already have an ideal alternative in their midfield to Moises Caicedo as the transfer saga for the Brighton star continues to drag on. The Blues have long been linked with a move for the Ecuadorian international with a failed attempt made to land him back in January. Football.London understands that the midfielder has been made a priority this summer, though a recent £80 million bid was knocked back by the Seagulls. Caicedo is claimed to be valued at roughly £100 million by the South Coast outfit, given his young age and the recent signing of a new long-term contract. Despite conflicting reports, at this moment it seems as though the West London side are still in talks over securing a switch, suggesting a higher offer could be in the works. The deal is reaching critical moments though, given the fact that the Premier League season is only less than two weeks away from kicking off. Mauricio Pochettino's first game will be against Liverpool at Stamford Bridge, where he would probably prefer to have an ideal squad at his disposal. Chelsea have called some people close to Mohamed Kudus, but transfer expert Fabrizio Romano has exclusively told Gimsport whether a deal to bring the Ajax star to Stamford Bridge is close. Having spent in the region of £100 million since the summer transfer window opened for business, Blues boss Mauricio Pochettino is seeking further reinforcements ahead of the September 1st deadline. IT is understood that Chelsea have expressed an interest in Kudus and, although they have not submitted an offer at this stage, initial dialogue has taken place. Eredivisie Giants Ajax have slapped a £40 million price tag on the Ghana International after he has also worked his way onto Brighton and Hove Albion's radar ahead of Europa League action heading to the Amex Stadium in the forthcoming campaign. Although Arsenal are among Kudu's suitors, they will only consider heading to the negotiating table after they have sanctioned some departures. Manchester United and Newcastle United have been tracking developments since the 22-year-old made it clear that he is seeking a fresh challenge away from Ajax. Juventus centre-back Gleisen Bremer has broken his silence over a potential move to Chelsea and Tottenham in the summer transfer window. Both sides have been linked with a switch for the Brazilian defender in the past few weeks, with the Bayern Canary recently banned from European competitions for one year following a recent breach of UEFA rules. The Blues are in the market for a centre-back following a serious ACL injury to Wesley Fofana that will leave him sidelined for a while. Bremer is amongst a host of players linked with a switch, but it remains to be seen if he will still be a target as another deal is lined up. Football.London understands that AS Monaco defender Axel de Sesai is set to join the West London club in a deal worth roughly £38 million. Tottenham are also looking to add to their centre-back ranks in the summer to give Ange Postecoglou a helping hand in shoring up his defensive options. Mickey van de Ven and Edmund Tapsoba have been two names primarily linked with a switch to N17 in the market, but neither seems close to joining at this stage. Chelsea have agreed a £38.6 million deal to sign defender Axel de Sesai from AS Monaco. The 25-year-old has been signed following a serious injury to Wesley Fofana, who has been sidelined for the foreseeable. The Blues have acted decisively as both Manchester United and Arsenal were tracking the four-time France international. De Sesai will complete a medical and sign a five-year deal, with the option of a further year, at Stamford Bridge in the coming days. The signing throws Trevo Chalabas' future into major doubt despite playing more preseason minutes than any other player under Mauricio Pochettino. Chalaba has major interest from Inter Milan, but it is unclear whether the Italian giants are willing to pay a significant fee. The Blues now have six major senior central defenders on their books, including Fofana. Levi Colwell's future also remains uncertain despite Chelsea offering the youngster a new contract amid Brighton interest. Chelsea insist he is not for sale and have so far resisted calls to include him in negotiations with Brighton to sign primary midfield target Moises Caicedo. There have been suggestions that Mbappe would want to see out his contract and leave as a free agent next summer when his contract runs out. Staying on at PSG, if they do not want him, would not be ideal though, Real Madrid are in an interesting position as well. They could go out and sign Mbappe this summer to replace Karim Benzema up top. Or they could wait and hope to sign him as a free agent next summer. Other clubs are looking to sign Mbappe as well though. 
and Chelsea appear to be one of the teams in the race for the Frenchman's signature. As reported by the Daily Record, Chelsea are trying to negotiate a cash plus player deal to bring Mbappe to the Premier League. PSG have encouraged the Blues' efforts to sign the French World Cup winner. Chelsea are coming off of their worst season of the century and do not have any European football on offer. As a result, it is hard to imagine that Mbappe would end up at Stamford Bridge this summer. Despite their efforts, Real Madrid appear to be heavy favorites to sign Mbappe, whether it be this summer or the next one. There have also been suggestions that Los Blancos are the only club that the French World Cup winner wants to join after leaving PSG. EXCLUSIVE Mbappe's wages would break the bank for any Premier League club, but if one owner can find a way it's Bowley. Chelsea owner Todd Bowley has contacted Paris Saint-Germain personally as he looks to secure the sensational capture of Kylian Mbappe, sources have told I. The Blues were one of several Premier League clubs to make inquiries about Mbappe after the French superstar was left out of PSG's preseason tour of Asia and effectively put up for sale two weeks ago, but Bowley this weekend has again been in touch with PSG president Nasser Al-Khalafi in an attempt to push a deal of sorts through. Sources said Bowley has both inquired about bringing Mbappe in on loan and on a permanent deal, even with it assumed that the 24-year-old has a pre-contract agreement in place with Real Madrid to move to Spain next summer. The owner's personal involvement has alerted PSG as to the real possibility of reaching an agreement. Manchester United and Tottenham had initially been interested after it was revealed Mbappe could even be available for a season-long loan before the Madrid switch, I understands. But Chelsea have stormed to the front of the queue, given their owner, who is still behaving like a kid in a candy store when it comes to transfers, according to one insider, has personally taken it upon himself to seal a sensational switch, with financial fair play regulators already on Chelsea's case. One thing the club do have is a phalanx of surplus players who can be offered the other way, especially in the striker department. United and Spurs, with their respective shallow squads, do not have such a luxury. Liverpool were reportedly said to have joined the race last week, but club sources doubted the viability of such a move given the club's more stringent approach to wage structure, one they would have to cast aside in order to foot the Mbappe bill. Monday is the final day that Mbappe can notify PSG over whether he will be taking up the additional option of another year to 2025, but the club already know the answer. They have moved to make the 24-year-old available for transfer in advance, given their insistence on not allowing their most valuable ever asset to leave for nothing next summer. They have been adamant they will do all they can to be rid of the disruptive influence now. One potential avenue, sources added, is to consider investigating the legality of Madrid's pre-contract agreement with Mbappe, one PSG insist is in place already. It may not get anywhere, but anything to rock the boat.